Today topic is multiple sclerosis. What is multiple sclerosis? Multiple sclerosis is known as MS that is the most well-known handicapping neurological illness of youthful grown-ups with manifestation beginning by and large happening between the ages of 20 to 40 years. In MS, the insusceptible framework cells that typically safeguard us from infections, microscopic organisms, and undesirable cells erroneously assault myelin in the focal sensory system mind, optic nerves, and spinal line, a substance that makes up the defensive sheath that called the myelin sheath that coats the axons. MS is an ongoing infection that influences individuals in an unexpected way. Few those with MS will have a gentle course with almost no incapacity, while others will have a consistently deteriorating sickness that prompts expanded inability over the long run. A great many people with MS, nonetheless, will have brief times of side effects followed by extended lengths of relative calmness with halfway or full recuperation. Ladies are impacted all the more much of the time with MS contrasted with men. The sickness is seldom deadly and the vast majority with MS have an ordinary future. New medicines can diminish long-haul handicap for some individuals with MS. Right now there are still no fixes and no reasonable ways of keeping the sickness from creating signs or symptoms of multiple sclerosis. There are two kinds of multiple sclerosis symptoms such as early and later. Initially understand the early symptoms of multiple sclerosis such as Number 1. Vision issues like obscured or twofold vision, which causes torment with eye development and a quick loss of vision. Number 2. Muscle shortcoming, frequently in the hands and legs, and muscle firmness joined by agonizing muscle fits. Number 3. Shivering or deadness. Number 4. Ungainliness, especially trouble remaining adjusted while strolling. Number 5. Bladder control issues. Number 6. Discontinuous dizziness. Later signs or symptoms of multiple sclerosis such as. Number 1. Mental or physical fatigue which goes with the early manifestations during an assault. Number 2. Temperament changes like despondency or trouble with enthusiastic articulation or control. Number 3. Mental brokenness issues concentrating, performing various tasks, thinking, learning, or hardships with memory or judgment. How it would be diagnosed. There is no single test used to diagnose. The disease is confirmed when symptoms and signs develop and are related to different parts of the nervous system at more than one interval in time and after other alternative diagnoses have been excluded. Many doctors use different tests to confirm the diagnosis. In addition to a complete medical history, physical examination, and a detailed neurological examination, a doctor may recommend MRI scans, lumbar puncture, and evoked potential tests. MRI scans of the brain and spinal cord to look for the characteristic lesions of MS. A special dye or contrast agent may be injected into a vein to enhance brain images of the active MS lesions. Lumbar puncture, sometimes called a spinal tap, to obtain a sample of cerebrospinal fluid and examine it for proteins and inflammatory cells associated with the disease. Spinal tap analysis also can rule out diseases that may look like MS. Evoked potential tests, which use electrodes placed on the skin and painless electric signals to measure how quickly and accurately the nervous system responds to stimulation. Risk factors. There are three major risk factors such as genetic factors. Most researchers suggest that dozens of genes and possibly hundreds of variations in the genetic code, called gene variants, combine to create vulnerability to MS. Some of these genes have been identified, and most are associated with functions of the immune system. Many of the known genes are similar to those that have been identified in people with other autoimmune diseases as type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, or lupus. Infections Factors A few infections have been found in individuals with MS, however the infection generally reliably connected to the improvement of MS is the Epstein-Barr virus, EBV, which causes irresistible mononucleosis. 5% persons not infected by EBV. 
these people are at a lower hazard for creating MS than the individuals who have been contaminated. Individuals who were contaminated with EBV in immaturity or adulthood and who consequently foster a misrepresented safe reaction to EBV are at an altogether higher gamble for creating MS than the people who were tainted in youth. This recommends that it could be the sort of insusceptible reaction to EBV that might prompt MS, rather than EBV contamination itself. Notwithstanding, there is still no confirmation that EBV causes MS, and the instruments that underlie this interaction are inadequately perceived. Environmental Factors Investigations have discovered that individuals who smoke are bound to foster MS and have a more forceful sickness course. To be sure, people who smoke will quite often have more mind sores and cerebrum shrinkage than non-smokers. Treatment There is no specific cure for MS, but you can reduce the severity of relapses or long-term disability by using alternative therapies. Thanks for watching. And subscribe this channel.